Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. On Saturday morning, a Wildwood bank was robbed. Police say the suspect allegedly made it out with a sizable amount of cash. Police responded to the BB&T bank at about 10 a.m. for a silent alarm activation, and the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigations Division is currently looking into the incident. The suspect, who had not been identified as of press time, left the bank with an undisclosed amount of money, and no weapon was used. But there was a threat of a weapon, said Babcock, a spokesman for the Sheriff's Office. Willenborg, who heads the division, said, As it moves forward, we may release more information, noting potential witnesses could come forward and establish credibility with information known to police. Detective Brian Fennessy is working the case and can be reached at 301-475-4200, extension 8103. After a total of nine hours of county planning commission meetings, the board in a 4-3 to three vote has denied the application for a 7-Eleven convenience store and a gas station on the corner of Medley's Neck Road and Point Lookout Road in Leonardtown. On Monday night, Leonardtown residents came together for a third time to show their opposition to the store, as many believed it would attract crime to an area and create traffic congestion. Speakers had also noted the store's proximity to Leonardtown Middle School was a serious concern. Mary Lou Bucci, the former director of St. Mary's County Special Olympics, will be given a Lifetime Achievement Award next month for her 25 years of service. Mary Lou Bucci said, After I thought about it and got it in my mind and talked to my family, I was really proud to have that honor. But I have to say, it was not just me who deserved this honor, believe me. Bucci will be honored by the St. Mary's County Commissioners for Women at the group's banquet on March 19th at the Bay District Firehouse in Lexington Park. As of 2021, St. Mary's College of Maryland is adding a new sports team to its athletic department, track and field. Tawanda Jordan, president of the college, said at a board of trustees meeting on February 1st that the new team will increase enrollment and diversify the student body. William Seal, a member of the board, donated $400,000 for the track renovations, which is expected to bring in 20 to 40 students per year, or students who would not have previously considered the college. Now turning to sports. Swimmers from all three counties were part of a record-breaking day during Saturday's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Swim Championships located at St. Mary's College of Maryland Aquatic Center. In total, 14 records were broken out of the 22 events and Huntingtown Girls Swim won the SMAC title for the second consecutive season and Leonardtown took the boys' crown. Huntingtown's girls won the event with 402 points, followed by Leonardtown in second with 382, La Plata in third with 376, Great Mills in fourth with 354, and North Point in fifth with 303. On Friday night, Leonardtown's boys and girls basketball teams traveled to Chopticon High School for a doubleheader in the second Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division meeting between the two county rivals. Each school got to celebrate a win as the Raiders boys picked up 80-65 victory and Chopticon girls earned a 51-50 victory win in the second game of the doubleheader. Leonardtown boys head coach Jeb Barber said, these always are just wild games with really heavy swings and changes of emotions with ups and downs. News brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing, signing off. off.